Hey everybody, Michigan Edge here. Thanks for stopping by here to the cutting board. Real quick here, I want to do a uh, shout out and a thank you to a YouTuber, new YouTuber, Bob Kelly. Everybody, uh, I'm going to link in my description his channel. He does a lot of videos on, uh, or a few videos on, on his knife collection. He's got some cool knives. He's got a good sense of humor and uh, he's a nice guy. So stop by and check him out. Look in my description. If you like what you see, give him a thumbs up, subscribe, let him know Michigan Edge sent you. So Bob Kelly, everybody. On to the video here. Today we're going to do a video on potato knife patina. And it is as simple as it sounds. What I recommend for this is a cotton ball, some rubbing alcohol, and obviously a knife. Use your cotton ball and your alcohol, get that cotton ball wet and clean your knife blade off really good. Get all the fingerprints and stuff off. Then you need a potato. I highly recommend uh, Michigan potatoes. They seem like they do a better job. <laughs> okay. And here we go. You take your knife, you stab it in the potato, and that's pretty much all there is to it. This knife right here is brand new, uh, very shiny. This is a Case Sodbuster Jr in chrome vanadium steel. It had a nice mirror polish finish on it before I did this. And uh, people say, oh my god, why would you want to do that and ruin that that, that uh, beautiful shine? Well, honestly, uh, a carbon steel blade, if you actually use it, it's going to develop a patina naturally anyway over time. But one of the benefits of doing this is it provides provides a little uh, protectant layer on your knife. It kind of, it puts a good rust on your knife and, and it prevents it from getting bad rust. Now you can still get bad rust on your knife, but it just seems like it uh, it helps things out a lot, guys. Okay, so this has been sitting here for about 16 hours now. Now you don't need to do this for 16 hours. That's just I forgot about it. I put it in here. I tried this last night and I checked it out a couple hours later, and it was starting to develop a patina, but it wasn't. Uh, I like my blades to be black, nice thick black patina. So let's check it out real quick here. Okay, it's definitely uh, dark now. Let's uh, clean her off here. All right, so we definitely got a nice dark patina on this blade here. Uh, I like the antique look myself. It gives it a nice old school antique look. You know, if you like the pretty shiny look, then obviously uh, get a stainless steel knife, guys. Stay away from carbon steel. But there's a lot of benefits to carbon steel, like it's uh, very easy to sharpen and it seems like it takes an edge very well. People ask me all the time for my first video I did last year, I did a uh, lemon or lime juice patina. Does this ruin your cutting edge? Let's go ahead and check real quick, there's a little piece of paper here. Let's see if this affected our cutting edge at all. Still very sharp. And uh... You know, one of the good things about carbon steel is it, uh, even if it does dull, it's very easy to sharpen, so not a big deal. If it affected the edge at all, I don't really notice any difference. But uh, there you have it, guys. Potato knife patina. I like it. I like the lime juice patina. Uh, there's other options. Eventually, I'll probably do some more videos. You can, I believe, Eric Cord USA, he did a video. Uh, check him out too, guys. He's a cool guy. He did a video with Mustard where he kind of did like a tiger stripe patina. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of options and cool patinas you can do. Another idea I had, I eventually may do, is uh, I'm going to do some detailing work. Like maybe, uh, you know, maybe a Sharpie or some nail polish. Like uh, write my name on here. Maybe do some pictures or stuff just to try out. Uh, but there you have it, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Appreciate y'all, you taking the time to watch my videos. Michigan Edge, out.